Hello and welcome to Brain Map Anatomy. Today we will learn about the Hilton's Law. John Hilton, an English surgeon, described this law based upon his extensive anatomical knowledge and clinical experiences. Hilton's Law states that a movable joint is innervated by articular branches of the nerves that supply the muscles acting on the joint, and that also supply the skin covering the joint. In order to understand and remember the Hilton's Law we will make a brain map for it. The law states that a movable joint is innervated by articular branches of a nerve, and the same nerve will supply two other structures. 1. The muscle acting on the joint, and the skin covering the joint. In other words, a nerve supply a joint through an articular branch will have a muscular branch supplying the muscle acting on the joint and also a cutaneous branch that supplies the skin around the joint. Now we will see an example for Hilton's law. Let's consider shoulder joint. The joint capsule of the shoulder joint is innervated by the articular branch of axillary nerve. According to the law, axillary nerve gives muscular branch to supply the muscle acting on the shoulder joint which is the deltoid muscle. Also, the axillary nerve gives cutaneous innervation for the skin over the shoulder joint. This cutaneous branch of axillary nerve is called upper lateral cutaneous nerve of arm. Hilton's law can be applied to the elbow joint and knee joint also. Interestingly the observation of John Hilton often holds true in reverse also, that is to say, a nerve that supplies skin or a muscle will often supply the applicable joint. It is the same John Hilton after which the Hilton's muscle, Hilton's line, and Hilton's sac are named. But these are different topics for discussion. Use the comment box below if you know what these anatomical structures are. Leave your valuable feedback about this video about Hilton's law in the comment box below. Subscribe to our channel for more videos.